Hey guys, it's Hannah from Hannah Eve Nails It, and today I have a really exciting video for you. Um, today we're going to be doing the first part, I think maybe the first part, maybe it'll be a little bit down the road, I'm not quite sure yet, um, of my nail polish collection series, I guess you can call it. Um, there's going to be a few videos, um, mainly like big overview videos, but then I'll also try and go in like brand by brand and be more specific, you know, like my China Glaze collection and my OPI collection. I started doing that last year and I got through quite a few brands, but it's been so long and I've accumulated so many more polishes that um, it's definitely time for an updated one. So in this video, we're going to be doing a couple things. I'm going to be showing you my nail care collection, you know, like base coats, top coats, tools and stuff like that. And also my nail art collection stuff, um, where I store it, how I organize it, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I hope this video answers any questions you have about the way that I store any of my collection stuff or any of that kind of junk. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments down below. Alright guys, so this is kind of the overview of pretty much my entire nail polish collection. Um, we've got the racks and all of the drawers as you can see. Um, you actually can't see all the drawers in this shot, but this isn't about the nail polish collection. <laughs> this video is about those top two drawers right there. That's where I store my nail care items. Oh, and look, there's a Mila. <laughs> um, that's where I store my nail care and my nail art stuff. So let's just um, get right into that. Okay, so I just wanted to kind of... Um, I know this isn't the best angle. This room is really small, so it's kind of hard to film in. But these right here are the regular, like, three-drawer Melmers. I have three stacked on top of each other. Um, these are probably what you guys are most familiar with, a lot of YouTubers um, or bloggers. A lot of people use those um, to store their nail polish, and um, in my video tomorrow you guys will see my nail polish collection, so stay tuned for that. But the drawer over there, the drawers over there, the four drawer system, that's by the same brand from Michaels. I can't remember what exactly the size is, but they're significantly bigger, deeper drawers, and um, obviously there's four of them. And um, the top two, we have my nail care in that first one, and then this one right here is my nail art. This one down here is my makeup collection. Um, well, almost all of it. The rest of it's right there. <laughs> and then that bottom one is where I keep some random crap. <laughs> but um, yeah, just so you guys, you know, if you want any storage ideas, I really do like those deeper drawers for um, a lot of taller storage, whereas these skinnier or shallower drawers are great for just regular nail polish. Alright, so I just pulled out that top drawer. This is where I keep like the majority of my nail care stuff. Um, the only stuff you're not going to really see in this video is like nail polish remover and stuff, which I just kept on the shelf over there. It's not a big deal. <laughs> um, I hope this video isn't too shaky. I'm going to try and kind of show you guys into the drawer. Alright, so here's kind of like as much of an aerial view as I can get. <laughs> um, I, let's see, where do we start? I guess we'll just start with this thing right here. This is just like a little, it's an Orly box, I guess. It's just like a little box. I keep this on top because this is like my most used item. So if I'm going to do a manicure, I'll just pull this box out and, um, you know, if I'm going to go do my manicure in the living room or something, like, I'll just take it with me. Um, it's got my favorite base coat, the Nail Teaks Formula 2, my favorite top coat, Sejvit, and, um, I don't know, like a cuticle pusher, um, my, my most used stamper and scraper, my cleanup brush. Here, I'll zoom in, zoom in for you guys. So yeah, just like all my essentials, my crystal nail file, just stuff that I use, like, pretty much every time I do my nails. All right, and then when you pull out that little insert thing, this is what you see. Um, I've kind of organized this, um, oh, by the way, the organizer, I got it Fred Meyers in like the kitchen section. Um, so these are like top coats. These are all my top coats, way too many in this little compartment right here. And then these are all base coats in this little compartment right here. Um, I just went through and got rid of a bunch. <laughs> and yeah, it's kind of sad. Um, and then this cubby right here has a few more base coats. These are like specialty base coats. Um, like we've got like peel off base coats and like a whitening base coat, um, a nail growth stimulator one. 
um, just kind of stuff like that. Um, also in this little cubby, I've got this little jar. Maybe we should zoom in for each, each individual cubby because I'm just so smart. Um, I've just got this little jar, um, whoops, that's just got like clippers and tweezers and stuff in it. And then let's see, kind of going a little wonky in the order. I apologize about that. But um, right here we've got like other specialty things. We've got cuticle oils, um, cuticle remover, um, nail drying drops, Sage Restore, um, just things like that. And then, sorry about the squeaking guys, my tripod's kind of squeaky. <laughs> On the side here we've got some bubble white, we've got some nail files over here. Um, some lotions pretty much in this one, some scrubs, lotions, cuticle oil, just stuff like that. And then in this middle compartment we've got some nail polish thinner from Sally's. We've got um, some more Sage Vite. I got like this big refill bottle on Amazon. I love that stuff. And then let's see here. In this thing, um, I don't know. These are just like some little files, more files. Um, this thing, the cotton ball claw thingy or whatever this is called. Um, some like cuticle pushers, some tweezers, just kind of random stuff in there. And then along the edge right here, um, just kind of some random stuff. We've, oops, we've got some Zoya Remove Plus. It's just a small bottle that fits here. <laughs> um, we've got some hand scrub. Um, we've got this little like finger rest for like, uh, I usually forget to use it, but I'm always like, oh, I should use this one next time I do somebody else's nails because it makes it a heck of a lot easier. And then this little... This thing's cute. It's like a little chair couch looking thing that you can sit a nail polish bottle in while you're painting it and it kind of tips it. Kind of interesting. And then a nail buffer thingamajig by Revlon. So I think that's pretty much it. That's all that's in this drawer. Um, all Pretty much all of my nail care items and let's move on to the nail art drawer. All right, here is an aerial view of the nail art drawer. This is the second drawer in that little thing. Um, I guess we'll just start in the corner over here. These are just like kind of loose glitters and stuff like that. Um, I don't know, I really need to use these more often because I have so many of them, but then like I never use them. Um, these are like my little wheels of gems and um, Fimo slices. Here, I'll zoom in. I don't. I don't think I know how I want to do this video yet. As I'm filming it, I'm still figuring out how I want to do it. But yeah, like I said, there's like female slices and gems and stuff in here. So that's these. And then right next to it right here, we've got this little like lipstick organizer thing. And in here I have my strapers. Um, I don't use these very often, but I'm really happy when I have them, like when I need them. So I've got these. Um, by the way, this whole... This whole organizer on this side, this um, clear acrylic one, this is from the container store. Um, I think it's like a cosmetic organizer or something, so that's why it came with that little lipstick holder and stuff, so yeah. And then in this cubby back here, it kind of has some random things. We've got a lint roller. Sometimes I use this when I stamp, um, not very often. I've got this little tin that I mix nail polish on. Um, or I use like a plop nail polish on there like I'm using a dotting tool or something There's some random nail stickers and stuff in here and then in this little tin um, It's got let's see if I can see you. It's got Lots more nail stickers and stuff and striping tape Okay, so moving on to the bottom area of the drawer or the front area or whatever. Um, I've got this little um, plastic thing. I don't remember where I got these. Maybe the dollar store or something or maybe like the dollar spot at Target. But anyways, I just have um, nail art pens in there, stripers and stuff like that. Um, nothing too fancy. And then in this container, it's another one of those same skinny little containers. I've got tape. I probably don't need three rolls of tape, but I use tape pretty often, whether it's for like making designs or um, for stamping. Sometimes I like to use tape to clean up and stuff like that, so that's there. And then let's see, in this little square right here, we've got some stamping stuff, um, tons of stampers. I've got more stampers than a girl could ever need or want and then this whole thing is full of scrapers again more than a girl could ever need or want 
And then over here in the last few sections, we've got, um, I have an empty Sejvit bottle. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it yet, but maybe I'll like make my own glitter polish or something. And then I also have this thing of um, toothpicks, which are really handy for water marbling or all sorts of things actually. And then this little compartment has all my dotting tools in it. So I use that one often. Dotting tools are probably my favorite nail art tool. And then I've got some hand sanitizer spray in this one. Um, I got this a long time ago with the intention of like doing like that water spotted or um, well, I don't know. You can do it with hairspray too. I didn't know it at the time. I wouldn't have bought a whole separate thing, but I have it now. So, and I still haven't tried that nail art yet. <laughs> Oh, and I forgot to show you back here, back here behind the stripers, I just have some more like gem things. And then in this compartment right here, I've got like coffee straws. So yeah, I just use these for, spl for splatter manicures, like the one that I'm wearing right now. In that cubby, I also have this like gem picker upper tool that's supposed to like have like a sticky thing on each side and it helps you pick up gems. I don't think it really works to be honest, so I don't really know why I still have that. And then this last container, this last little cubby right here, I've just got some nail art pens. I don't really use these very often, if ever. Um, I don't know, I just prefer like stamping or other forms, but I have them so I keep them in there just in case. And then the very last thing is right here pushed up against the side. I've got some more like nail stickers and like nail wrap things and stuff like that. So yeah, I just keep that tucked in there. All right, guys, that seems to be um, everything I have to show you in this drawer, um, my nail art drawer. Um, I do have a bunch of stamping plates. I have decided to do a separate video showing you guys my stamping plates because my collection is so large. So um, go ahead and let me know down below or give me a thumbs up if you want to see a um, stamping plate collection video. <laughs> Alright guys, so that is it for this um, video in my nail collection, nail polish collection series. My nail care and nail art collection, whatever. I'll get it down when I write it in the title. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you maybe learned a couple storage tips or something, I don't know. Um, or at the very least you just enjoyed it. Um, I know I always like looking at these videos because they're always interesting. I don't know. It's interesting to me. So um, if you um, have a collection um, that you would like to share, um, whether it's nail care, nail art, nail polish, whatever it is, um, you sh if you want to, maybe take a picture on Instagram and tag me and I would love to check that out. Or if you are a YouTuber and you have, if you haven't already done nail polish collection series or nail care or nail art or <laughs> whatever this video is called, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> Um, then yeah, you should let me know, leave me a link to your video or whatever, and um, I will definitely check it out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already to get more nail polish related videos from me in the future, um, and you don't miss any of the cool videos that I put out. Um, <laughs> and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, it really helps me out. And I think that's it. I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later. Bye! Hey, guys! I forget what I'm going to say, like, right before I say it. I still haven't gotten my new intro down yet. I guess it's going to be a series. Um, wow, my ankle itches. Sorry. Um, hey, guys! Try again, try again. What is that, Hannah? What is that?